the best retirement advice ever comes from people who have actually retired and they've already done it. So here are 10 pieces of great advice that I want to share with you. Now, first off, I just want to let you know there's a lot of bad advice on YouTube if you didn't know that already. Most videos, they'll only focus on the financial part of retirement. But right up front, I just want to let you know that I'm not a financial advisor. But every single day, my team and I, they work with folks who have either retired or they're preparing to retire. And many, they're thinking about making a move. But what you should already know is about the struggles of others, the other concerns, and the other issues that come up when you're thinking about retiring. And that is the reason that I'm making this video. It's the stuff that nobody talks about, yet is really very eye-opening. Now, I wanna share a conversation with you. So let's go for a walk on the beach. Now I'm talking about the normal, the average, the everyday people that say the same things when they talk about their personal retirement. You know, it's not that they didn't save, it's not that they didn't invest or work long enough for their retirement, but it's the advice that they gave. It's the stuff that they said. It's the advice on how they transition from the working life into the retirement life. And it's what they search for, and it's their choices and their best options. So here are 10 great pieces of advice in descending order. Number 10, know your retirement lifestyle. Is it gonna be luxury, modest, or somewhere in between? Now, if you figure it out in your mind and visualize what your life is gonna look like, because the advice that retirees give here is, don't overestimate your nest egg. You really need to know how much you're going to spend when you retire. You know, are you gonna have travel plans? Are you gonna have hobbies? What's the cost of everyday stuff? And are you gonna be penny pinching? Or are you gonna be able to actually do what you wanna do? So because if you estimate that your living expenses are gonna be $3,000 a month, and then they end up with the true cost of living expenses being $6,000 a month, you're gonna burn through a ton of money really super fast and it's going to prevent you from doing what you really want to do. So if your homeowner's insurance doubles or it even triples like many Florida people have seen that happen or you didn't do your homework to actually figure out the cost of living expenses with inflation or take into account that property taxes and car insurance rates they always go up you're going to be screwed. So make sure that you consider all housing possibilities and expenses including future inflation. Number nine, what are your goals when you actually retire? Because physically, mentally, and financially, the first few years of your retirement, that's probably gonna be when you're at your most healthy, right? So you wanna make sure that you use that health and that strength in your early years of your retirement because you wanna achieve those goals. Do you wanna travel or do you wanna garden? Do you wanna play golf or go fishing? What are your hobbies? So initially, you wanna do these things because as we age, we can't physically do it anymore or even mentally can't do it anymore. So enjoy the power and the beauty of your youth in your early senior years. We can always look at our bank account and then we can see how much money we have in the bank, right? But you just don't know how much time that you have left. Is any of this helpful so far? Give me a thumbs up. Number eight, purposeful activity. Now, when you no longer have to go through the morning ritual of preparing yourself to go to work, many retirees, they really look forward to doing absolutely nothing, right? Because at first, retirement, it's all about you. But after a period of time, many people, they lose their sense of purpose in life, and some actually even lose their way. So, when you don't have to go to your work to fill your days up, you need to know what your personal game plan is going to be. Are you gonna get yourself in shape? Are you gonna volunteer at the animal rescue or volunteer at something that you really like to do? You know, if you can find something that is meaningful and purposeful in life, it's gonna give you more meaning to your life and guaranteed you're gonna make it feel good. When you're giving back to the community. Number seven, don't waste your time comparing yourself to others in retirement. Look, sometimes you're ahead and sometimes you're behind but don't compare yourself with your neighbors who just bought two brand new cars, or they went skiing, or they went to Hawaii and took four vacations a year and have that second vacation home. Look, if you have a moderate income, do what is comfortable for you and live on what you got. You know, the race is long, and in the end, the race is only with yourself. Number six, finding the right house in the right location. It can be a huge improvement in your life 
you know, especially if it fits your current needs and your future needs at the same time. Now, think about a house without steps or a house with less maintenance or a smaller one. Or think about downsizing because storing stuff that you don't use may not be as important in your life anymore. Now, if you're looking at a home with the right balance, it's super important because the retirement life is more about enjoying your lifestyle and your time with less stuff to pay for and much less stuff to really maintain. Number five, the weather. The advice that many retirees give is just to think about yourself a few years down the road. Because in our mind, we always think that we can do it physically, but as we age, it's gonna limit us to what we can really do and what we can actually even tolerate, right? So some have told me that, oh man, I really underestimated this part of it. But many retirees think they will not be slipping on snow and ice or break that hip until it really happens to them. But many retirees vow they're never gonna shovel snow again. And then they'll move to warmer weather only to find out they really can't stand this extreme heat and the sunburn from either dry heat of the desert, like, or the humidity sapping heat index of Florida. It happens all the time. So choosing the right place to retire is super important. So if you live in an area that's too hot or too cold, you will be hibernating inside your house, just waiting for spring or for fall to waste six months of your life each every year. Now choosing the right place to live with moderate year round temperatures, it's gonna keep you more active and you're gonna be out and about doing fun things, you know, festivals, lunches, car shows, or picking up a game of golf and walking the beach. You'll make the most of the time that you have instead of wasting your time and waiting for better temperatures or better weather. Number four, consider the things to do that are nearby. You know, this is gonna be a happy retirement or are you gonna sit in your house all day? Are you gonna garden all day or, or now what are you gonna do, right? So consider where you live and those things that are located nearby to you. Because as you age, the location of these things becomes even more important. Number three, close to healthcare. You know, as we get older, parts wear out, and guess what, we need more maintenance. So many have told me that they traded their work schedule in for a doctor's office schedule. I mean, but do your research here, because some of you have written me and you've told me the horror stories of living in Arizona or in Florida where doctors are so overloaded, but patients can't even get an appointment and when they're booked out for months in advance and have no alternative options. So it's not about the number of hospitals in that area or the doctors that are there, it's about the log jams and the access. So if you're moving, make sure that you know the health system. Number two, friends and family. Now, retirement is a new chapter in your life or it's a new place to move to, right? But the question I hear all the time is, will I make new friends in retirement? Now, if you move to an area like Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which is US News and World Report ranked fastest growing metro area in the nation for the third year in a row, you know, an area like this is known to be more conducive to retirement and friendlier too. And this is where my team and I, we live and we work, and we've helped thousands of people who have moved here to this area for the last 18 years. But the old saying is true, but I wasn't born at the beach, but I got here as fast as I could. It really applies here because everybody who lives here comes from a different state in the nation. Everybody's in the same boat. Nobody's born at the beach, right? So if you're moving to an area where there has plenty of things to do or is a touristy area, you're gonna be surprised at how many people from out of town that you know are gonna visit you. And I have a sign in my office that says, you never know how many friends you're gonna have until you own a beach house. Number one, your priorities are gonna change when you retire. Now you think about retirement as a significant change. The older we get, our mobility may be a little bit more difficult, right? Because you wanna maintain your health. You don't wanna to forget to stretch. So if you're at the tiki bar or buffets every single day, just realize what retirees say, move it or lose it. You know, a body in motion stays in motion. You've heard that. And a lot of retirees say they wish they had not neglected their health as much as they actually did because they didn't put enough emphasis on it at that time. Now, some regret that they hibernated in their house or didn't take care of themselves as they should have because later in life, it's gonna catch up and you don't wanna be cut short, right? Be wise because it doesn't matter if you have a million dollars sitting in the bank. If you have health issues, it's gonna hold you back. And don't forget to keep your mind active. Oh, put on that sunscreen and drink more water or do something that makes you laugh and smile more. I hope you're enjoying these videos here on this channel. I'm, I'm making them for you. So has any of this been helpful to you at all? Please let me know. I, just comment, please. 
I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch and to comment here on this channel. And if you're looking to buy or sell real estate anywhere in the nation, that's what my team does every single day. And I can hook you up with a local expert no matter where you live in the nation. So pick up the phone, give us a call at 843-839-9870. And if you subscribed, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, guys. Yeah.